always find the extraordinary within the ordinary. There's something magical in those moments if you're able just to frame it right. My name is Kevin Chu. I'm a senior in C's and a filmmaker and photographer on campus. I started off um, in filmmaking um, doing this joke video almost, like um, a, a trailer of my seventh grade class in high school um, for the, the movie 300 with lightsabers. It was around um, 2007, 2008 when like the YouTube boom was really starting to happen. Um, and you started seeing all these people putting up all these like crazy videos and stuff. And one of the things I saw was just like, people having a lightsaber battle and it was just like whoa i want to do that so what i did was just like i filmed a bunch of things on this little like kodak camera like they don't even make those anymore but it's like this little brick of a digital camera and when i released it and here's the thing that i think that clinched it it went absolutely viral within the entire grade it would like everyone in the grade would just not stop watching that one video that i did on a whim being able to have that effect um at that time in my life when I was still trying to figure myself out, like, you know, I was a scrawny little like kid really um, with very limited social skills, but a lot of like dreams and sort of just like wants and desires and all kind of stuff. To be able to have that impact really just cemented for me that like feeling of what it is to do film, what it is to do photography, to be able to move people. The great thing about like uh, doing um photo work especially it's just how um technical it is in the sense it's like I, I love the fact that it's like it's so uh methodical i like this i'll work with this okay all right so first things first always make sure you get your exposures down to of t always make sure highlights are at least in a good zone when this is done i always export them over to photoshop where i take them for a color run i go in here for my final run of just like going through color because uh, color is something that photoshop does so much better than uh lightroom in terms of just like the flexibility of everything again i apply my film lets the same way i do um and I f adjust my exposure just a bit more. I always make sure to try and apply my signature somewhere. I have to think that like it's a nice one to throw things on. And voila! I can honestly say um, being at Columbia and being in New York City is probably the largest blessing for me as a filmmaker, as a photographer, just to be able to have this sort of just like community of people Step that are constantly doing like amazing things and like all sorts of just like new ventures and new projects um both in the artistic sense both in the business sense um just being here has allowed me to grow into the person that i was able to um to be all of these different things come about when you're surrounded by the people that are always doing something that are just like creating new things and being here at Columbia and being like in within the city has just been an endless source of just like continual inspiration and in a artistic sense and continual opportunity to just go out there and work with people collaborate and just create new work Some of the most touching things I've seen, or at least I've experienced in, after I've put out those videos, is just seeing all the excitement that um, not only the people that are currently on campus, just like, wow, we, I've never seen our campus like this. I've never seen just like, you know, our, I've never seen Columbia like this at all. But it's especially the people coming in, especially prospective students, the um, admitted students that come in and are able to not just experience Columbia as the institution that it is um, and the high honor and prestige that it represents, but be able to see the people that are here, the people that live their lives as college students at Columbia, um, and be able just to see, like, we are like Columbia students, but we are all at the same time human beings that just, you know, want to have a great time, that just want to share our love for each other, just want to just like be good people. I've always been a big proponent of the Looming series and you'll see my two uh, sort of like fancier facts. Let me actually get my second lens out. Light is, my, is every sort of uh, cinematographer and filmmakers sort of just like lifeblood. You really have to 
just make sure that you have good light. This light right here that I got probably around freshman year of like college. Um, oh, the battery's not exactly out yet. But like uh, this little thing I got for $30 off Amazon because I just needed to start off with lights of some kind. Um, but th these have probably like taken me through two years of some of like my work. I've lit music videos with these. I've lit like um, entire portrait sessions. This is like how I started out. At some point you got to get bigger and better. Um, and that's kind of what I did um, over summer this year. Uh, this thing is an absolute beauty. Battery powered light, but some of the most uh, soft powered sort of like looks that you'll ever have, right? It's just like kind of, it, it's the Photodiox 18 inch uh, flat jack edge light. Um, a beauty light in my opinion, uh, a, like, but a very powerful uh, LED that I like relied on. Um, well, one of my best experiences doing film and photo here at Columbia well, it has to be the moment of the white frost. Like I can't like this can't how amazing that like giant snowfall that happened right there was. Like the experience of filming that encapsulated everything that I could have ever hoped for really and just like seeing Columbia as its like sort of like true self. Just like a bunch of like raw like energetic people that just want to have like a great time and just like, you know. I can honestly remember the moment that I arrived here, wanting to be someone that does, you know, more great stuff. And I could never have possibly imagined just having had the chance to work with all the amazing people that I've had, um, that I've worked with. My only real regret really is just like not having had more time and more of a chance to just do more of this work here. My main real um, dream really is to end up working as an editor or even like a director of photography um, with the music video industry um, and commercial industry. Um, short form content has always been my sort of, you know, my forte. Um, and also just like what I really love about just like um, the medium, being able to just tell compact but powerful stories is something I want to definitely get myself involved in. So Kevin, what are we doing today? We are filming a documentary piece for Columbia Dining. Uh, it's going to be one of the special things that we do this year for the staff. It's, uh, it's a. Um, it's been a project that's been going on for at least. Uh, it's been. It's one of the projects that's been in the works for at least like several years now. After we sort of just like figured out the direction that we want to take um, dining's branding and everything. So, I'm here orchestrating the shoot for um, dining and making sure we tell the stories right. If you're arriving on this campus wanting to do film and photo work. If you've seen some of my work and even want to like you know go down this path. The one thing that you really just got to get down is just you've you got to find the love of the craft that you're involved in. You got to have that sort of just like unrelenting passion to just like go for it in whatever domain that you are. It doesn't have to be, you know, in commercial work. It could be in narrative filmmaking. It could be in um, documentary work. It could just be in whatever sort of domain that you want to pursue. Just follow that just like passion to the core talk with people all the time, really just collaborate as much as you can, but also never lose sight of the things that you yourself can contribute on your own. And stick to it eventually with time, with consistency, with just like undying sort of just like passion for it. You will become who you want to be.